versus Squire DK. Now, we saw players DK give AWOL some trouble. So we'll see what uh, Squires DK can do. Now, the one thing that uh, I think um, Players DK did really well is it was really bold, and it had zero respect for AWOL. <laughs> and I don't know if Squires gonna play like that. on the eruption there. takes the first stock, but he is at 149, so, uh, like, a, a straight back air is gonna kill him. I don't think neutral air confirms into back air anymore, though, or up air, but that back air doesn't need to be confirmed, into. Another tech chase read on the, with the downside. Covered everything but roll to the left. That's impressive. I thought that would kill him for sure, but DK is heavy. Like, that was gonna be a shield grab out of Squire. Ooh, Hewell doesn't get the confirm. Scary situation there. Shark jump. Ooh, they both jumped. <laughs> They're like perfectly near it. Tech chase. Oh, using the up B to cover the tech out after conditioning the tech out with two down smashes on to cover tech in. Oh man. Squire is in his head right now. I talked at the start of the set about um, about player just not respecting uh, AWOL. Squire is just playing mind games with him. He's got his he's he's basically got full control over AWOL's tech patterns. Get the confirm into the up smash. Hmm. This should be kill. Oh, not if he back throws. You need cargo, cargo walk off down throw. Awell said he's out. <laughs> I don't know what that was. He's out of there. He's just gonna try the next match. A little bit of a DK problem for AWOL. No, that was close. That was really close. Just got read real hard a couple of times. Okay, so we're in a game two on town again. I really like town. Town might be my favorite stage. Uh, favorite legal stage. Uh, I really like Unova too. Um, I like Kalos as well. Ooh, too low. It will pull yourself together. I don't know what he was going for with that back air too. It didn't really cover anything other than that Spire was going to run off and do nothing. Um, 
Now he's back off stage. He doesn't get punished for it, but at the ledge. Oh, that's scary as well. He'll be fine, but the, the head bonk on the double jump is real scary. Oh, he wanted the platform. That's just... Yeah, I hate to see it. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I think it's best of five. I hope it's best of five. Game three, I don't know if, uh, if this is the pick. He just needs to stay on stage. If you're able, well, stay on stage. All right, that should be your number one game plan. And well, you don't get grabbed in the corner, because you'll get thrown off. And just focus on getting back to stage. That was scary. Thankfully the last hit of the up you didn't come out. Or didn't send them very far at least. But, uh, yeah, this game like a ton closer than last game just because uh well he hasn't fallen off the stage three times. So apparently. That's usually a good sign if you don't just randomly die three times. Neutraler doesn't confirm the up there. Uh oh. Ooh, that could have been an up smash. Back throw, that was not great yeah, on the back throw, but I don't think it mattered. <laughs> yeah, so Squire going for up throw, uh, up air at zero. Um, the optimal combo is uh, cargo, like put him in the cargo, put the cargo, and then double jump, uh, up throw, and then up E them. It does like just shy of 50%, like 42% or something. Um, and then the combo that I like to go for a lot of times at zero with GK is cargo up throw, uh, double jump before you up throw. Uh, so he's Squire's doing all like grounded cargo up throws, but I like to do the double jump one for the, the like full hop one and he gets punched. But the combo that I go for is a uh, weak reverse nair into back air and.